Well, it was a battle, but I got it on. Them cables in that winch are all corroded and they get hot. If you have peel insulation back on them, they fall right apart. So I gotta get new cables on there because it pulled the 10B on last fall, no problem at all. I had a hook alongside and help with the TD9. Uh, I didn't get it videoed because I just had to keep at it before it got dark. So I think this is going to be about it for tonight. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. There the 60 is at sun up, getting ready to go to its first show, albeit it doesn't run yet, but it's still going. So we'll see you a little later today. I have a lot to do. Here I am on my way to Baraboo. Just tightened one of the chains. <clears throat> well, made it to Baraboo again. I'll probably unload the 60 in the morning, but first thing in the, one of the first things in the morning, uh, there's a, usually a man here who rebuilds magnetos, and the magneto for the 60 has spark, but very, very, very weak. So if there's a mag man here, because of its, uh, the magnets need recharging or whatever, something I can't do anyway. And I'm gonna put the carburetor together and if we can get Meg on the spark, then we could try starting it this weekend. Let's see what else is here this evening, Thursday evening. Here, here Kyle, will this have your name on it someday? <laughs> It'd look good in your collection. Oh, well, here, they're getting ready to unload this pop stand. Made to look like a caboose. It's an international with a Bucyra Siri hydro crane on it. We'll go around to the other side and look at it from the front side. From this side, now I'm going to turn it off because I'll barely have enough camera battery left in my camera. So I'm going to wait until our actual lifting before I do any more video. It's starting to move. And we have liftoff. We'll see how long my battery lasts. And it looks like we have touchdown. Looks good. Let's see what else we can see at tonight before the battery goes dead.